Hello everyone and welcome back to our Tinkercad tutorial. Today we'll be looking at setting variable. So what is variable? It's basic in programming a variable is basically a place, a memory where you can store a value to it and then you can call it for usage later. You can edit, change the variable value, delete it or do anything to it and then you can actually assess that value and, uh, and use it to execute something. So without further ado, let's go into the exercise and change the name to exercise 4.3. So we'll be still using the coding bit, so we'll need an Arduino and a breadboard. Okay, connect the GND directly to the ground first. The circuits bit will be rather simple today because we'll be only using a piezo buzzer and with piezo buzzer we'll need a resistor of 100 ohm okay then connect the positive bit to any digital port will do okay so we have connected number eight so we'll now go to the coding bit which is what is important today now when you click on the variable bit you'll notice that there's nothing but the button that say create variable so we'll click on it to create a variable it will ask you the name for the naming, you will need to avoid using terms like digital, tone, or anything that could be programming code or anything that will appear in Tinkercad or Arduino. So if you actually mistakenly use one of those names, it will give you an error later when you compile the code. So try to give it name like, for example, we can use test in today's example. Once you've done that, three buttons will show up over here. The first rounded square, sorry, a rounded rectangle is where the value is stored. So you can use this one if you want to put the, uh, if you want to read the value. The next two is actually the set value where you can actually set test directly to a fixed value or you can actually change the value directly by increasing or decreasing. So if you put a positive number over here, it will change the it will change the existing value by adding this value or it will decrease by this value if you put the negative over here. Now, we will need to use a speaker. Okay, we'll use play speaker pin speaker on number 8. Okay, we'll play this test value as a tone for 0 0.5 seconds for example. Okay, we'll need to control the tone so that it's not too high. So we'll use an if. We'll compare using comparison operator so that it's always less than or equal to 80. So we can put the tone here now. So that when it's less than or equal to 80, it will play. Otherwise, it will go to the next line. Okay, once it plays the tone, we want it to increase. So we can use this chain test by some value. We can use a fixed value over here, which means each round it will be exactly the same. Or we can use a random value from 5 to 10. So that every round, it will increase to a random value until it reaches 80. Then it will reset. Okay, we'll use the F line to reset. So that what happens is that each time you play it, it will play a random different music. Afterwards, we'll need to play a, put a weight over here. For 0 0.6 seconds so that it will fully play the tone before I move on. The next bit we need to change is the L speed because once we exit 80 we want to reset it back to 0 and then wait for 0.5 seconds or 1 second. Okay so that will be all that will be all for the code bit. So what happened is that if it's less than 80 which initially is 0 it will play the tone for 0.5 seconds increase the tone and then wait okay when it increase the tone it, you it won't be playing it until the next round okay once it reach tone of 80 it will reset so let's see if it's work notice for the first few tone it doesn't sound very different because at 
very low frequency tone we may not be able to hear the difference so what you can do is that you can actually change the value the initial value to 20. so on the first round it will actually play from zero but after that it will only start from 20. so let's try that again As you can hear, each round after it's reset, it will go to a slightly different music because basically you actually just randomly change the tone. So each time it will be slightly different. Okay, so that's how we use variable. Basically, without variable, we won't be able to achieve that because there's no place to save the value from previous. Okay, we just store the value and then keep increasing it each round. So that's how you use variable this is one way of you how you can use variable you can use it for brightness as well or you can use it for the time that is playing by putting it here so in conclusion we can go to the variable section and then create a variable to create a variable that we can control and use we can then assess it using that round rectangle and then we can set the value or change the value, which means increase or decrease the value using the change B. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in our next video. Thank you.